Well, hello and welcome back to episode, or welcome to episode 32 of the Daily Sales Message, where each and every single day for at least the last 32 days in a row now, we provide you with a piece of simple, actionable advice that's going to help you to improve your sales performance and feel more confident too. If you're new here, my name is James Newell. I teach people how to sell for a living. And for me, it comes in two parts. It starts with having what I call a clear sales message. So people have to understand what it is that you sell. And second, it comes down to selling confidence, literally having an answer for everything and knowing how to behave in a selling situation. Today, we're talking about clear sales mess clear sales mess and this is something that happened to me a good few years ago now but I'll never forget it I was still am a proud young man proud of my company proud of my work proud of what I'm doing I went to an event I had a projector screen behind me where my slides were being projected there somebody said oh James can you just stop and pose for a photo so I stood in front of the projector screen smiled at the camera and didn't realize that I was obscuring my logo. So my logo says clear sales message and I was stood in front of the IGE, the A-G-E. So in the photo, it says clear sales mess. And that's unfortunate, isn't it? So I couldn't really use that picture, apart from obviously uh, in things like this where I'm telling people what to not to do. But I thought, isn't that a great example of cropping? We put all this effort and time into creating our messaging, working out what to say and who to talk to and all this wonderful stuff. And then because something is cropped, there is a limit to the character count on what you see on an email before you open it or what you see on a LinkedIn post before you hit see more or any of that kind of stuff. You might not be getting your point across because people are reading clear sales mess rather than clear sales message. So the moral of the story today, children, gather around, is to consider where is your messaging and your where are your communications appearing and what do they look like to the recipient? Something I often do, if I'm going to email somebody or send a DM, I will often email myself so I can see what it looks like in the inbox and I can understand if there's any kind of cropping, shortening of the character count. And if there is, then I can adjust the ordering, adjust the syntax of the text to make sure as much as possible is there and legible and it will make sense because I don't want another clear sales mess. So be mindful today of cropping of, you know, you can have the best message in the world, the best business, the best everything. But if people literally do not understand it because they physically cannot read it correctly in the places that you're communicating because you're not really aware of the cropping that happens on Twitter or anywhere else, then it's going to do you a disservice to so be mindful of that. Well, that's it for this episode of the Daily Sales Message. Tomorrow, we're going to be covering price, talking about the price. And if you're nervous talking about the price, this one is definitely for you. It's a small hack, a little reframe, a little mind shift to get you to feel less nervous, less terrified, let's be honest, talking about the price. But tune in tomorrow and I'll explain in more detail. Thank you for listening. If you aren't already subscribed, please hit that button. And if you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn and shoot me a DM, let me know if you're enjoying the daily sales message. If you've got a question, anything you'd like me to cover in the future, it's always lovely to hear from daily sales message listeners. That's it for this episode. I will see you tomorrow and we'll be talking about the price.